Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be starting a brand new series here on the channel called Fence and Factory Only. Do me a huge favor, man. Make sure you guys are dropping a like on this video here today and make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. You guys have been asking for gameplay and this is going to be what you're going to get for now. Maybe we'll do a hardcore account, but... Honestly, man, I have just been really bored with Tarkov, and I just decided, you know what? Let's hop on a brand new standard account, and let's do some kind of series. I was going to do Fence Only Last Wipe. I recorded a couple episodes of it, never made it to the channel, just because I didn't really like how it turned out. You know, Fence Only, it's really, really tough. And when you're doing like 45-minute raids and then even dying after that... It really just doesn't feel good to upload those kind of raids. It's just not what I like to do personally. It kind of feels like a waste of time. So I wanted to find a way that I can incorporate short raids with a nice little spin to it. And that's going to be the fence and factory only. This video here today is going to be the longest episode out of any of them because I have to explain all the rules, explain exactly what we're doing. And I have to show you me selling my entire stash to fence, which is going to be really painful. But basically, we are on a brand new standard account. Here's what we got. All of this stuff, including my knife, everything is going to get sold to Fence. We're on a standard account. This is my standard stash. The main income source for this account, since we are going to be selling everything to Fence, is going to be through our scav runs. Our scav runs are completely available to us. We're allowed to use our scav. We can keep any of the gear from the scav if we want. Or we can sell it all to Fence. Fence is the only trader we can use. We're not really going to worry about the hideout. We could do some upgrades to it if we can get a couple stat boosts in there. But we're not going to be worrying about the hideout whatsoever. We'll decide if we actually get to the flea market, if we'll be able to use that or not. But as of right now, being obviously with level 1, we're not going to be using the flea market in any way. And we cannot use any traders in any way as of right now. It is going to be 100% fence only our income is going to be gained through our scav any gear that we extract with we can use and one other strategy i'm going to try and abuse is going to be not bringing any heals into raid besides maybe painkillers because i feel like getting heals in general from fence is going to be pretty hard to do another rule is that starting cash is available to us we don't have to delete anything it is all going to be fair game here at the beginning uh, it's my series, my rules anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Task do not really matter at all. Uh, we don't really care about those. It is literally a factory-only account. PvP, baby. It's going to be all PvP. So we are going to uh, sell everything off. So let's do that. So normally, I would empty the magazines just to try and get every single dollar that we can. But in this case, we're not going to. Uh, one other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep the food on hand for now. Um, and another thing is we can heal from therapist. Even once we get past level five, we can heal from therapist. That is another rule. I'm not going to worry about a med situation. I just don't want to deal with it. So let's sell everything to fence, man. This is probably the worst part. Maybe we could grab some dailies or something that would actually help us out and get some extra cash. I don't really know where that falls under our terms of service when it comes to the rule book. But yep, here it goes. This is going to be the fun part. Selling literally everything to fence for... Just cheap as shit, man. Somebody's gonna have a field day sniping all this shit off the uh, the fence inventory. Man, this is actually low-key painful. So we're keeping the food. So my first objective is probably... Gonna be looking for, like, a melee weapon, I think, just in case. It's, it's better to have it just in case we literally go completely broke. Um, we could start with our scav run, but I want to build a kit first. So basically, what I'm going to do in every single episode is we're going to go and fence. We're going to build a kit. I'm going to basically show you me buying some stuff. I might not show you everything because it's really fucking boring. The PvP is what we're going to be interested in because fence, if you guys don't know, the weapons this man sells are going to be low fucking durability weapons. So they're not going to be fun to use. And, uh, or they're just stripped down really shitty weapons. I mean, look at some of this shit, man. I mean, just look at this fucking AK. 49 durability, fucking no dust cover, no magazine. Like, this is Struggle Bus Town 101. This is gonna be really painful. So I'm gonna do my best to get some shit inspected. I think we're just gonna knock that out right away. I'm gonna spend 10, 15 minutes doing it on all the weapons and gear from, uh, you know, Peacekeeper, Mechanic, Ragman, all of them. Just get some of this essential shit done. But, um, hey, there's a knife. Go ahead and grab that. 
All right, man. First things first, let's get ourselves a weapon. I'm kind of liking some of these AKs right here. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Let's see. Can we buy this? Okay, we got ourselves an AKS-74U. Let's see what all we got on here. We just paid 50 racks for this thing. Grab ourselves a couple magazines. Let's focus on the magazines first. It looks like we got some here. Let's see if we can grab four of those. Yup, good to go. Now we're going to need some shitty ammo. But these are going to be our struggles here for fence only. I mean, literally, we're going to be using shit ammo. We're going to be using shitty guns. And uh, it's going to be on factory where we might run into some chads, which would be really cool, actually. But um, we'll have to see what happens, man. But getting some more stuff inspected. We'll see if we get like a shitty armor, shitty rig or something like that. Obviously, we need a rig. You know, bank robber is not bad. Yeah, we'll take a bank robber. That's basically trader price. Shattered mask. Okay, I'm liking the kit. I'm ooh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna grab like five of these just while we can. All right, we got headphones. Lock that in. Love that. So we got face cover. We got a rig. Now we just need maybe a little bit of armor. Dude, honestly, a strand hog out here, not bad. Let's see if we can grab this. No, nope, that's gone. All right. So let's probably just grab. All right, pack it is. Let's uh get that repaired. Get that on. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get that repaired. Get our rig on. Now we're going to need some ammo. All right. And this will pretty much be our kit. This is going to be our kit. How are we looking? You know, not bad. Not bad at all. We're going to be on that full auto. We, we're on a 50 out of 53 durability. So we'll see what happens. It's probably not going to be good. That's for sure. But uh, let's see what Fence has ammo wise for 545. All right, so I think we're just going to be stuck with PS ammo for most of our 545 endeavors. We're actually going to need another round there. I'm going to pick one of those up. All right, so we have our first kit, man. It's not going to be pretty. That's that's all I know. It's not going to be pretty at all. But we are level one Timmy, and, um, you know, we got to act like it. So here's our kit. I don't really know if we need anything else. Oh, painkillers. I doubt we're going to be able to get painkillers from uh, Fence. Be, yeah, it's gonna be doubtful getting those. We have we have some other meds here, but we don't have anything for pain killing. We're pretty much shit out of luck when it comes to PKs, and uh, if we get fucked over, we get fucked over. We also don't have a factory key, which is going to hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. Um, if we do get access to the flea market, that might be one thing we buy. But uh, other than that, you know, we're stuck to gate three, man, and that's really gonna hurt us. But uh, we're going to go into raid. This is going to be our first first raid on our account. You can see your level one. Bit of a long intro, but we are ready to go. Um, I messed with the audio a little bit. I got my sound down. If it overlays in this first raid, I will try to get it figured out. But this is your warning now. You might hear my gunfire coming out of my headset because sound is so important to Tarkov. But we'll see what happens. Insurance is not allowed. After this factory raid, if we fail, we'll go into our scav and we will just run to extract, get a little bit of money, and that'll be episode one. This is the, you know, we're going to figure things out as we go, but right now this is the basic concept. Factory raids, only with fence gear, and um, see what we can do. So, I'm just going to ready. Let's go. Really good chance this first raid. I completely forget that we don't have factory key. Damn, we are hopping right in. Hey, this username, though, is looking clean. You know, the other one was my main account. But the Ace is EFT. Feels like we're at home, baby. I like it. I really do. I really do like it. So we gotta make sure we're on full auto. We gotta get that laser on. Hopefully we don't get hallway spawn. We'll see what happens, man. What do we got? Oh, we literally got the worst spawn. See if we can grab ourselves factory key earlier. Oh shit! No fucking way! Wait, are we being serious? Damn it, I hear a lot of running right now. so much running I'm 
also not using contacts. Bro, I need to know what are the actual fucking odds that happened. In the office, let's chow him. See you later. No heels. Alrighty, well, that was raid one. We got the factory key, baby. That's insane to me that we hit that. We're gonna do our scav real quick, make some extra money that way, and then we're gonna wrap this episode one up. But that was our first raid. We got one PMC kill, looted one filing cabinet, and then I just pushed him, took him out, easy kill, and we got killed by Sweet 767. Um, we didn't really stand a chance. Not having heals, you know, that's the strategy I was kind of going with. Fucked us over. Maybe we add heals to the combo. We got the factory key now. And honestly, man, you know, I'm feeling good about that first raid. I, I really am. Feeling real good. I'll have to go back and uh, check the audio and everything. Like I said, if it overlays, I'm sorry. I'll get it figured out. If it didn't, great. Uh, let's go hit our scav, though. Not much on here. This is just kind of a little, a little kit for us. Honestly, man, I feel like it does take away a lot of the fun when it comes to if we just use our, our gear that we get from our scav. So... I'll, I'll try my best to sell a lot of the shit. If we get some face covers and shit like that, that it really doesn't matter if we sell, maybe I'll keep those. Um, but, you know, like this armor, this rig, the backpack, it's kind of unfair if we keep that, in my opinion, I kind of think. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe we sell those and then are forced to rebuy it or something like that because I want it to be like a true fence only and true factory only. And, um, you know, I just feel like it's kind of cheating in a way. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. But, we're definitely going to be getting our scav gear and then selling it. Uh, just, you know, depending on using it. And I, I think we will actually just sell it all and, um, you know, only keep things that don't really make much of a difference. So, uh, let's head into raid. All right, we're loading up. Now, hypothetically speaking, on our scav here, we could fuck around and be an asshole. But I don't think we will. But I'm, I'm just saying that option's there. 16 minutes, god damn. We got in here early. First scav raid in the books. Getting that armor in, there we go. We'll sell it on the fence and then uh, we'll wrap episode one up. So, you know, next episode, it's gonna be the same exact thing. And uh, hopefully it's a little bit quicker, not as long of an intro. And uh, it says I've been recording for 20 minutes, but I think we had a lot of time where I was just inspecting shit. So maybe it's still like a 10-minute episode, which would be nice. I would love to keep them super short for you guys. But uh, let's head in. And uh, sell the shit. Right to fence. Super, super low prices. This hurts my soul. See you later. Yo, we got some M4 mags in here. I'd love to grab an ADAR. Dude, there's definitely some, some decent shit in here. Shotguns is going to be a big one as well. The keep an eye out for fucking m700 with attack 30 on it dude sounds like a good time to me all right man well that is gonna wrap up episode one um let me know if you guys want me to make like any kind of changes to the episodes if you guys have any feedback whatever it might be uh just let me know um i can change up stuff i can cut certain stuff out like i said we're just gonna kind of you know, take it as we go, learn, and try to uh, figure out what's best for this series, what's best for the viewing experience and everything else. Going to get this one edited and hopefully up by tomorrow on Tuesday for you guys. If I don't, then uh, just chalk it up to me being lazy, but I'm going to hop off the recording and go edit it right now for you guys so I can listen to the sound and everything and get shit figured out that way. But um, yeah, we got some headphones for our next raid. We got a factory key. I'm excited for the next one. We'll see you guys very, very soon. Sponsors, equipment, description below. Make sure you're leaving that like. Can't leave without leaving that. And uh, if you're not subscribed, man, consider subscribing to the channel. That's all I got. Thanks for stopping by. I'm out.